Hey guys, so I just got done um, taking pictures for my September dailies. Um, so I'm just putting my cards back. I'm excited. I'm gonna be using the Crow Tarot and the flowers from the Dead Oracle. I figured um, I'm gonna save my Halloween decks for October <laughs> and I'll just kind of slide into the halloween -y fall season with um, the crows because I haven't really showcased the deck so it's kind of the perfect one to to start off with so you guys are probably like where's the daily the diary video <laughs> Um, I didn't film this morning because I wanted to eat breakfast and get ready. I was like vacuuming and cleaning house and I wanted to um, be able to do all of that. So let me put this up here. I wanted to be able to do all of that. So I'm going to start cleaning up the space just a little bit. So see you so. <laughs> There's my little Halloween setup. Um, I have to get my husband to take down the box. So um, I have like a big box in the garage ugh, that has like all of my little, so not so, well, I guess some of them are ceramic pumpkins. Like they're pumpkins that I bought at um, the Dollar Tree. And I love to put them out, like set them up in a little fall themey kind of a look and stuff. So I wanna do that all on the table. But until then, <laughs> I just have that. Um, and I, I'm probably going to put my other runner. I have like another, I have a skeleton one. But I know I have a, a tub in the garage that has like way more um, of my Halloween spread cloths. Because I had so many for my readings that I would do throughout the couple years that I've been reading. Um, and so I need him to take that box down so I can go through it. So I'm probably going to put one on this guy clear all that stuff off um and yeah so <laughs> that is what I've been working on today is just kind of like slowly putting some stuff out putting some stuff away that's why I love having a little dresser here because I'm able to just throw shit in the drawers that I don't need to use at the time and then um you know pull it back out when I need it so <laughs> that's what I've been doing I've just kind of been like straightening up around here this stuff is all of my like fiction horror books um my mermaids like I have everything kind of in its own category so I have like my zombie books here I have um put my candles away um I have my zombie books here I have my alien books because I'm into the aliens I have like just fiction and then I have vampire and then I have my mermaids so I have everything kind of like <laughs> done um but I I'm kind of like running out of space so let me uh, let me show you my other spot so that stuff is my um that's like my tarot ver um astrology you know all that stuff so I need to straighten that stuff out too because I have a lot of space over there um, as well, but look at all those books on, on the floor. Oh my gosh, I have like piles of books everywhere. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to put. Like, do I want to move some of my stuff over here, or do I want to keep this like my fiction section? I don't know. Um, I have so many crystals, you guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of try to make more space on the shelf, like utilize my space a little bit better. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So this, um, this video diary is going to kind of be just like me rambling and stuff. It's not really going to be anything super exciting. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited for September. I'm really looking forward to September happening and um, being able to put out my... Um, my fall readings like my tarot readings because I've been I miss those like I miss doing that so I haven't had any orders and I think it's because I, I think it's because people are waiting to see what I do <laughs> I 
like they know I'm going to be putting out those spooky readings so they kind of want to wait for that because at least that's that's what I'm thinking so some of my zombie books you guys I know I was going to show you guys so this is one collection that I freaking love and there's a new one there's a I think there's a fourth one um but it starts with the zombie apocalypse and it's by um Stephen Jones and it's just it's like I have another bookmark in here because I started rereading it again, but it's kind of like articles. It's like newspaper articles and like different points of view from different people as the zombie apocalypse starts. So there's that one. And then it goes to fight back. And then it goes to end game. And I think he has another one out, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> but this was the, this was the, the book that got me obsessed with zombies. Um, and I had my zombie addiction. It started a little bit before I started doing tarot. So this was probably like 2010, 2011. And then I started getting into tarot and my, my whole focus kind of mo moved into that. And, um, but I still love zombie, zombie books. Like I'm, a, I'm addicted. So Zombie Love. This was one my husband bought me is just because Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. <laughs> this is David Moody's um um part of his series. I think it goes way even more, but I never finished it. But it starts with Autumn, which is a really, really good book. Like, even if you just read this one as a standalone, this one's a really good one. So Autumn, and then it's the city. And then it's purification. And I think he also has like two or three more in this series, but I'm not for sure. Um, but like I said, I never finished it. I got to the third one and then I stopped. Compound, this was a like a donation. I never read this one. But it's there if I ever want to. Um, I have World War Z. <laughs> I think every zombie person has that one. The Zombie Survival Guide. Zombie Ohio, A Tale of the Undead. Enclave, this is another, um, this is by Anna Guire. Um, this is another series, but I never got into it, so I just have the first book. Deck Z, The Titanic, Unsinkable Undead. <laughs> um, I like to read series, but I'm just not, I have to be really devoted to it to read it, and I'm not devoted sometimes, so it has to be something that really gets my interest. And zombie books, I feel like they need to just be standalone because after a while, you just get tired of reading about it. It's like the same storyline, you know? Um, this is, okay, so Jonathan um, Jonathan Mabry, he does a lot of, like, zombie fiction. So he's really good. Um, this is Dead of Night. But the, the thing with his writing style is um, he's very, like... <laughs> He's very like like man writing. <laughs> if that's if that's even like if that even makes sense. Um it's it's a lot of military terms, a lot of like like that, like like military terms. So if you're not really familiar with that kind of stuff, it's it's a little bit eh, you could get tired of it after a while. So his is stuff. He has series it's too and he has a really good young adult series that's um it starts with uh, flesh and bone, I think it is. I think it's flesh and bone. Um, but Patient Zero, that's the other one too. Patient Zero is the other one. I don't think I own that one. Um, but his books, uh, after a while, you kind of get tired of, <laughs> of that too. Dying to Live, a novel of life among the undead. This one was pretty cool. I like this one. Um, the Dead, okay, so this is The New Dead. This is um, a... a a whole like short story so if you guys are into short stories the new dead this has um zombie stories so is the living dead 2 <laughs> so you have more of them and then this one i got to keep from the library when one of the libraries i worked at um so let me cover that up but that's the living dead yes um and then i have the walking dead Rise of the Governor, and then this one, ugh, this is another one my husband bought me, Dead Inside, Do Not Enter, from the Walking Dead series. I never read the, the Walking Dead comic books. I'm not into graphic novels, so I never read it, but I wanted it because I was like, 
I was obsessed with Walking Dead. My husband and I started watching it from the very beginning when we were first dating. Well, we had already been dating, but The Walking Dead was with us for a good portion of our relationship. <laughs> we were like totally invested in that show. Um, but once, you know, something, I don't want to do spoilers, but I'm sure everybody knows what happened. But once something major happened towards like, I think it was like a year ago, um, we stopped watching. So we're not invested in Walking Dead anymore. But we were. Oh, and then this is The Loving Dead. I really like this one. It has a sexy twist to it. It's kind of funny. It makes you laugh. So that one's pretty cool. But I love zombie books. Ugh. But I have so many. So many zombie books. I don't even know. I guess I could do this. And then, oh, here's Patient Zero. Here's another one by Jonathan Mabry. Patient Zero. Feed, this is a big um, series too. I didn't get into it, so I never finished it. Because guys, you guys can kind of see a pattern there, right? <laughs> like I don't finish the series. And then my alien books. So I have Alien Bug Hunt. I have an obsession with the xenomorphs. I that's like another like guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> so the Z, the xenomorphs. Um, that's that. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit that like that. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I guess I could just do this. I want to read this one. I need to read that one. It's like short stories too. Um, Underworld. So I have the Underworld series right here. That was a uh, another purchase. I love the Underworld series. Gotta love vampires, you guys. Like I love vampires. This was a like just some vintage book I found. <laughs> Aliens. All of the Alien series from like the very first one and then it just goes through the whole thing. Um, I guess I could just do this. And then I have, um, I have vampires like okay the typical so half of my books are still in boxes as you could tell like I have I have the whole Twilight series because that was like I was so obsessed when I was going into that um, and then I have like poor I have some of the series of the, the House of Night by PC cast so but like I said I have a whole other box in the garage that I haven't even like I haven't gone through <laughs> So that's horrible, but how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I wanna take up as little space as possible. Well, it's these guys that are giving me a problem. <laughs> My aliens. I mean, maybe if I start like doubling it up, I don't know. so much shit you guys if my husband were to be here he'd be like you need to get rid of your books like he's always telling me I have so many books and I'm like okay but I love them like what do you want me to do I'm not gonna get rid of my books <laughs> like he's crazy I go you crazy you crazy if you think I'm gonna get rid of my books <laughs> um what else what else do I have this is all my fiction stuff That's all my mermaid stuff. I don't even think I'm going to be able to fit that. You know what? I might actually be able to. So then I have mermaid books because I'm a mermaid lover. So I love this one. Just 
just a bunch of mermaid fiction. I think I could do this. All right, I gotta figure you out after. Let's see. And then I have like my bigger mermaid books here, but I'll probably just leave those unless I stack them in here. That'll work. Watch, I'll probably end up going through and changing it all up because I'm so freaking picky. Oh my God, when I was a little girl, you guys, so my mom was, when she was telling me that when I was little, she would take me to the library and every single time I would go to the library, I would always ask for mermaid books. This was one of the books that um, the library had that I always wanted to, <laughs> to, to check out and I found it in a used bookstore and I bought it. I, I cried because I was like, oh my God, I love that book. And then this is another one. My mom actually bought this one for me <laughs> because I would always check out the same mermaid books and she's just like, she bought it for me and it was like the best thing ever. And I've had it ever since. But yeah, I had a big old mermaid, a whole mermaid fetish. I guess I could put my aliens up here. Oh no, I still have one more, one more mermaid. <laughs> I'm so used to like having to make shit fit because I've had to do that so many times. There, that, that works. Um, Stella Luna. We bought this one because it's what we call Luna, Stella Luna. It's a little bat, super cute, my little bitty bat. And then I have space down here. Yay! Okay, then that's gonna that's gonna help a lot with my other books. So, whoops. So I have a bunch of fiction. Um, I have two copies of looking for Alaska. I should just donate these. Um, I should donate all of these to be honest with you. Like The Handmaid's Tale. I think I had a second copy because I bought one thinking I didn't have it already and I already did. That's how bad I am. <laughs> and I ended up donating it to the library. This, this series, Awake and the Cell, it was a Target purchase. I never read it. I could probably, I think I am. I'm going to donate those. I'll keep Handmaid's Tale though because I already donated my other copy. And then I'll keep the new one and I'll donate this guy. Whoop, don't want to lose my little hermit. That's another thing is I always have to check my um <laughs> my books because I usually leave um bookmarks to heaven and back. Strange but true. Collection of true stories from the Fate magazine. Paranormal people, healings, guardian angels. This one would probably be interesting, but I don't want it. Dante's Infernal. I have that one. This is another, um, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. <laughs> that was another um, donation bin. My, uh, my, my poetry books, there's those two, and then I have It's a Lonely Love. I like poetry. Crank. This is like my ultimate favorite one by Ellen Hopkins. Gotta keep you. So I'll keep those. This one, Alice. A psychotic journey through the bowels of magic and madness. Beware the claws of catch. This one interested me, so I'm gonna keep that one. I'll read that one one day. I just don't know when. <laughs> and then these were donations, the conversations with the devil. Alice and Alice's Adventure in Wonderland through the Looking Glass. I ha I like Alice in Wonderland. Starla, you're in the way. You're in the way, my stars. There. That kind of helps when you donate. Oops, I have to put you. It kind of helps when you decide what you don't need anymore and you just donate it. I just made some a whole lot of space for myself. Okay, so. Um, this actually goes in that, I should go over there. So now I have all this space. Um, so now I have like room to put stuff, to put
put stuff in, but I'm not gonna bore you guys doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and go do that myself. Hey guys, so I <laughs> I broke uh, I took a break, had some lunch, and poured myself a margarita. Because why not? Now I finished the shelf, okay, and I ended up, of course, I ended up fixing it. So I um those are my books I'm gonna donate. I'm gonna have a bigger pile because I have some more stuff in my bedroom. So the stuff in my bedroom is gonna go here. So I'm gonna have more books here, but basically this is the shelf <laughs> of my fiction books and like all that, you know, all that good stuff. And then over here I have the tarot books, the astrology books are all in the middle. And then like my demonology and mediumship books are there. Um, my whole space is coming together like That's what it looks like. <laughs> I have this whole empty space, like this wall. Um, and I was talking to my husband about it. This is actually where I want to put, um, let me see if I can put this down. This is where there, because basically from my point of view, I'm sitting down right here and I'm facing this wall. I have a tapestry that I have not ordered. Oh my God, what a mess. <laughs> I have a tapestry that I have not ordered, um, but I want to. <clears throat> it's off of Amazon. And so um, one of these days I'm going to order it. It's a moon tapestry, so it has the moon and it's a tarot card. But um, until then, I actually have an astrology tapestry like in that red basket where the little caterpillar is. <laughs> what a mess, you guys. Um, so I'm not going to continue filming me clean the space. Basically, I'm just going to go through and organize the stuff that's on the floor, get rid of that box, get rid of like just, you know, some of Starla's toys are on the floor <laughs> and, you know, just continue to organize a little bit and then call it a day because it's, it's just a lot to do in one day. There's a lot of stuff I could do and organizing and fixing my books is just exhausting on its own so <laughs> and I really can't do much else decorating because I oh, this thing keeps moving I can't do much more decorating because I need to have my husband get that box out of the garage and I don't want to risk <clears throat> falling my ass off the ladder one I'm afraid of heights and two it's like I don't want to risk the ladder and not carrying my weight and then what the fuck would happen if I'm by myself and no one would know if I died so <laughs> So I'm not going to risk it. Um, so I'm going to continue just kind of th straightening up the room. And and yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I know this, this today's video diary was kind of boring, but Fridays is usually my day of like ugh, getting stuff done. So I got the groceries done and, you know, I vacuumed the other rooms. And today I wanted to focus on my tarot room because... When it's messy and unorganized, I feel like the energy is so off and it makes me not want to read in it. So <laughs> I need to get it good, get it ready to go because September 1st, all my spooky readings are coming into shop. So yeah. All right, my loves, I'm going to finish my margarita and finish organizing this room and I will talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye loves.